This should hopefully be really awesome. All right, three, two, one, zip firework inside Orange Fanta. Oh yes, guys, there it goes. This right here is going to be insane. Welcome back everybody to another video on lighting off some fireworks and today we have an amazing science experiment. Now while many of you know the answer to this question, I had to show it anyways. Today guys, we have got just about every kind of firecracker you can find as well as some other types of fireworks and we are going to see how they do when we place them inside the water. This should obviously be pretty cool guys because we are also going to be trying it in different soda bottles and seeing how the carbonation puts up with the spitting fire of the zip firework as you see here. Now, if you guys like the fireworks that you see right here, then go to stand 54 at Boom City Rising Hawk Fireworks. There is nothing like getting deals at Boom City and I love their prices. But if you guys like small fireworks, then go to Rising Hawk Fireworks. Right here, guys, we got the assorted snakes pack, and there are all these different snakes right here. Now, guys, if you know me, I love snakes. They are one of a personal favorite because they just burn for so long, and they're a very unique type of firework. Now, what always makes me very happy about snake fireworks is they look like a piece of candy. Mmm, but I would probably not want to eat this. Now, let's go ahead, guys, and we'll take the snake firework and place it on top of the water bottle lid and see if we can make our way inside. All right, snake on top of water bottle. These are hard to get started. Oh yes, guys, there it goes. That looks like doo-doo's coming out of a bottle. That is so weird looking. Look at the snake coming out of there. And yes, guys, you can even see it melting the plastic on the bottle. And oh man, did you just hear that little squeak? That means we have made our way in and the rest should hopefully be really fun coming up. Wow, guys, just look at it sizzling there. And guys, wow, I can just kind of push it off. Ooh. Now that looks really interesting. Let's see what we can do from here. And now that I know what one snake does, I think I want to go ahead and do three more at a time. Oh my goodness, guys, this looks so cool. Look at that. Wow, guys, we are definitely making our way into this water bottle as we speak. Wow, look at that just coming out right there. Guys, it is making its way in. Oh, and that plastic has opened up even more. And yeah, guys, those snakes have just fallen on the ground and look at this right here. Let's go ahead and push it off without it getting inside the water. Now, it might be rather difficult to fit this ground bloom flower inside the water. So we're gonna go ahead and take the cap off just like so. Oh yes, guys, and we are just going to put the flower just like that and see if it'll drop inside the water. And yes, guys, there we go. There is the flower inside the water bottle. Oh yes, everyone. Is it going to drop in? Look at that. It's kind of on the top a little bit. And oh no, guys, the first firework has gone out and we will try a small firecracker inside the water. This should hopefully be really awesome. All right, three, two, one, firecracker inside bottle of water. Oh yes, guys, look at that. It is smoking. Whoa! <laughs> That just shot a bunch of water in the air. And wow, guys, look at that flower that didn't go and it's down there and the water is bubbly now. I think I've decided that I want to do that again. There it goes, guys, and it is in the water. Oh. Wow, oh, that is making me all wet. These buffalo bombs right here are so cool and they've got some nice weight to them and they fall down in the water. All right, let's go ahead and do that one more time. Oh, look at that shrapnel of that firecracker. And guys, we now have a smaller little water bottle to try next. And we will go ahead and do a redo of the flower firework inside the water. I don't know guys, is it gonna work? And yeah, guys, that was definitely interesting. Take a look at that bottle now. It is much darker in appearance. Now let's go ahead and do the flower inside of the bigger bottle. Oh, wow, guys. That is so weird. You can kind of see some flames inside of there, guys. I'm not really sure what's happening with that water. That created so much smoke. All right, guys, now I have an idea for this next one, but I'm not sure if it'll work, but we will go ahead and see. All right, crackling barrel on top of water bottle. All right, guys, look at that, and I better get back now. Wow, everyone, those crackles are so cool. Wow, just look at it right there crackling, guys. Will it make its way inside the water? We'll see. Wow, that is lasting forever. 
Look at that. Guys, there is so much smoke coming out of that. And I have to say, this is absolutely crazy right here. Yeah, going inside that water bottle. That is really difficult to make happen. Oh, guys, it is about to fall off, and there it is on the ground. Wow, everyone, just look at that bottle popping. That bottle is being popped on the side. Guys, it is still going. Oh my goodness. All right, smoke with crackle inside the water bottle. There it goes. There it goes, guys, and it is now smoking. Oh, look at that, guys. That is so weird. This is absolutely crazy, and I am waiting for it to crackle. But guys, I don't think it is crackling, but look at all that weird junk just falling down inside the water. It is so neat that it has actually made the bottle slightly green shifted. And now, everyone, the moment you've waited for, let's go ahead and try a zip firework inside of water. This is going to be crazy. And oh my goodness, everyone, here we go. This should be really awesome. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and get back. Wow. Now, I don't know if you guys could see that while I was really far back, but that is certainly interesting. Those zip fireworks rev some serious velocity. And look guys, if I squeeze the bottle, you know it, that smoke just starts coming out like a choo-choo train. And here we are guys, the moment of truth. What happens if you place fireworks inside of soda bottles? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the wrapping off just because it'll look way clearer without it. And there we are guys, the labels are off and let's see how one of them does. And oh guys, are you ready for this? Listen to that infamous soda noise guys. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of bubbles. And this is going to be crazy. We are simply gonna take the zip firework. There we go guys. This right here is going to be insane. There we go guys, the zip is lit. And let's get back so I don't take a shower. Wow. Now that is what happens when you put a zip inside of soda. Look at all of that smoke inside that bottle. And oh my goodness, guys, this is a cool Halloween effect right here for dry ice. Guys, we are just going to go ahead and do that again. Oh my goodness, guys, this will be crazy. Wow, look at all the smoke that that made, guys, going right past me. And wow, those bubbles are so upset, guys. Look at all of that smoke coming out of that. And now, everyone, we have the orange Fanta Shasta to do next. And wow, I was hoping I could get the lid off that as I was talking. Listen to that hiss, and man, those calories don't want to be burned. Mmm, smells like an orange. You guys seriously owe me one for doing this. All right, three, two, one, zip firework inside orange Fanta. Wow, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Wow, guys, look at it just spilling out everywhere. It smells like an orange over here, which I do have to say, that was absolutely amazing. And if you take a look for a minute, just look at how much smoke is left in this bottle. Now, it wouldn't be cool if we didn't go ahead and try a flower next, so let's go ahead and do that. Also, yes, guys, at Boom City, there are a lot of fireworks going on. All right, here goes the flower. There it goes, guys, and there it drops in. <laughs> Wow, look at all that smoke coming out of there. And guys, we have one more to do, and we are going to see how the black one does here. All right, guys, this is the last soda bottle, as you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get further back for this one. Wow. <laughs> Look at all those bubbles inside that soda bottle. Now guys, let's go ahead and try to hurry and reload here and let's see what happens yet again. This is my last zip firework. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Wow, that was really angry at those calories. And on further note, guys, I cannot imagine what would happen drinking this right now. And I do not want to find out. Look at all of that smoke. That is so cool. And now, guys, we have some of the M1000 Red Devil Firecrackers to now go ahead and try. I'll go ahead and put them in this bottle because it looks the cleanest. And let's go ahead and see what happens. Ooh, now that sounded pretty upset. Let's go ahead now and do a buffalo bomb and we will compare it here to the bullet cracker. All right, here it goes. Wow. Well guys, that one didn't work. But let's go ahead and we'll try the bullet cracker next. All right, bullet cracker inside water. Wow, that is vibrant. 
Oh yeah. That had some great effects to it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you come to Boom City, go to Rising Hawk Fireworks and they will give you a good deal on stuff. Remember to always be safe with fireworks and I will see you guys later. Oh, well, it's always a good idea to pick up our trash. That was good.